I'm Lenny Rhodes, owner of Mix Cosmetics, and I'm sitting in a different spot today because I'm gonna do a different video. I'm gonna do a hack video because we all love a good life hack, right? So we wanna be more eco-friendly, we wanna be more sustainable, we wanna be use less packaging or maybe fewer products, we wanna make our lives easier. So I thought I would talk about how you can actually use my products in several different ways and hopefully I can give you some help. First thing, my body lotion is actually really useful as a hair conditioner. You can use it as a wash out conditioner or a leave in conditioner. A little bit less if you're gonna do a leave in conditioner, but it actually works perfectly well for all three. So body lotion, leave in conditioner, rinse out conditioner. And the reason it does that, the reason it's so good for all of that is because it contains what's called Bahatrimonium methosulfate. It is from the canola plant, and this is from a non-GMO canola oil out of Canada, but um, Bahatrimonium methosulfate, you might also see Bahatrimonium methyl um, benzoate, or sodium, there are a couple of other endings, and people have gotten really worried about um, sulfates, but this is a very safe product, and it is the best detangler. It actually draws moisture to your skin, draws moisture to your hair, and it's a, it has a positive charge instead of a negative charge, so it helps everything lay nice and smooth. So it works great for your hair as well as your skin. So if you've ever used my lotion and you notice it kind of resists rinsing off, that's what it is. It's the patrimonium methyl sulfate, which is also the emulsifier. Okay, so we've talked about hacks for body lotion, oops, shampoo bar. So this is a new, newer product that I've been making and they're super cute. I kind of wish I had one open for you, but I started making them in these little molds and they're adorable. And so a shampoo bar. If you're on a trip and you have a shampoo bar and you don't want to bring along a body wash or maybe a bar of soap, you don't want to have more than one product, you can put your little shampoo bar in the little bag that it comes in and you can use this as a body wash as well. It is totally safe. It will be good for your skin. It's maybe a touch more drying than a regular bar of soap or a body wash because those are formulated to leave a little bit of oil on your skin, whereas you don't want oil left in your hair. So that is why the formulation is a little bit different between a shampoo bar versus soap or, or a body wash. But it totally works. If you're on vacation for a week or if you're in the mountains, this stuff is, is biodegradable, so you can actually wash in a mountain stream and feel good about it. You don't have to worry about killing the local flora and fauna if you're washing if you're camping, washing in a back in a backwoods stream, totally safe. So one product, put it in your backpack, totally safe. It'll wash your hair and your body better than if you took a soap bar to wash your hair and your body. This will be a better like dual purpose product. Okay, here we go. Another kind of life hack. This one is strange. So this is my deodorant. And you're like, seriously, what do you do with deodorant besides I don't smell too bad, but you can also use this as if you have like itchy places on your skin or if you have little breakouts maybe from um, bug bites or heat rashes. It's really good, especially for heat rash type things, which I know right now because it's summer and I've had a little bit of heat rash from wearing my swimsuit too much. And so you can use this because it contains zinc. Zinc is an antimicrobial and it is an anti-inflammatory. So it actually helps bring down that inflammation from rashes and helps it not to get any infection, which causes that itchiness oftentimes or can make the rash continue longer than it needs to. So if you have a place that rubs on your body, like between your legs or um, under your arms, it actually helps your hair, your ingrown hairs 
not be not happen actually and so you don't get those big red ingrown hair bumps under your arms and so it's actually really really effective and it also has vinegar which helps to helps your microbe population build a healthier concentration of good microbes versus those negative microbes that are causing your problems so i know it's really really strange to say use deodorant other places on your skin than just your underarms but it's coconut oil zinc a sugar-based emulsifier and vinegar and witch hazel so you've heard that witch hazel vinegar coconut oil and zinc are really good for your skin they're all in here so it's actually a great product to use more than one place if you put color in it if you put like brown oxide you probably use it as foundation be super oily and gross feeling but you know you could if you're feeling super life hacky and you want one of those sort of snake oil hacks you could do that but i'm not going to sell you a snake oil hack i'm just going to say you could if you wanted to all right so next I just started making these roller balls. Well, I've been making essential oil roller balls for a really long time, but I've just been blending them custom for people. But now I've started making them the most popular ones, just making them up and selling them. And so this is great for all kinds of different things. So this is a balance oil roller ball and it contains jojoba, camellia, and oh, I have to look, I've forgotten what it contains. And castor. So it is extremely good for your skin. You can use it on your face and it helps to balance out acne. So if you have, if you're, you're wanting to like balance your emotions, that's kind of what I made it for, but it helps to balance out the sebum production on your skin as well. So you can actually use it as a little dink for if you've got a breakout or a breakout, whatever, just rub it right there and it will help with that. So it's actually like a little, a little uh, zit zapper in your pocket that makes you feel amazing and smell amazing too. So just a few life hacks for my products, ways that you can expand their use if you want. There are others, but maybe we'll get to some makeup ones next time. I'll do some makeup hacks and other ways that you can use my products there. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any other questions or ideas for life hacks that I've missed, let me know. And we will talk about those later. If you like it, if you please comment or share if somebody else might be interested in this. And I hope to talk to you next week.